Hello everyone, I'm really excited this morning to share with you a meal that I'm gonna bake in my oven, got my oven on at 350 to 380 degrees. It's called a tinfoil meal. It's more than 50 years old. 50 years ago I made this and I'm kind of reinventing it and stick with me because I have a couple of new secret ingredients that I'm gonna put in at the end which really do make a difference, I feel, in the taste of this. But the first thing you're gonna do is just start with some ground beef and salt and pepper. I'm making this today for Mr. Myron Wallen, my husband. And so I am going to put things in here that I know that he likes. I know he likes Worcestershire sauce or A1 sauce. So I'm gonna put a little of that into the hamburger that I'm gonna make into a patty. And another thing is I take an egg. And you could try just to put the egg on the hamburger, but it's not gonna incorporate as well as if you were to do what I just did, and that is to blend it up. I'm probably not gonna use it all because I don't want it to be too moist, but I want it to be nice and deliciously moist. And I'm going to add a bunch of onions. I took a, a sweet onion and I chopped it and sliced it and I even minced it. So I'm going to be using three different forms of onion here. So you take your onion, Put it in there and though it may look like this is going to be a long video it's going to be very short so stick with me because I want to be able to show you how you can make it more delicious than your mama made it 50 years ago or that you made in Girl Scouts 50 years ago but see how I'm doing this you can almost feel it's like the perfect consistency Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm thinking that four ounces is probably appropriate for my husband. So let's see what I have here. This is seven ounces, so that's way too much. Four ounces is about 16 there we go, about 16 grams of protein. So I'm gonna make a patty, and each one of my tinfoil campfire meal would get about four ounces of beef. You don't wanna just put a big ball in like this, you wanna flatten it. And the rest of this, because we're, I'm just making one today, I'll use for something else. Okay, so the next thing that you do is you take your tin foil. There's, as you know, there's different sizes of tin foil. You can use the smaller one, I do a lot, but the whole deal here is you want it to get sealed. And so I'm gonna use a big one today if I can get this going. And you kind of eyeball it. That looks really good. And I'm gonna go this shiny side on the inside, and I am going to spray it just a bit. Just a little bit, with just a little bit of olive oil. Okay, and you go ahead and put your hamburger patty in. This is gonna go fast. On top of that, you put what I love, onions. Sweet onions, oh my gosh, is this delicious, how these onions bake. Yes, it's a lot. This is gonna be very oniony, perfectly oniony, okay? 
I've done that. And now I'm going to add in my vegetables. I have them all ready over here. Can you see this? Here are my vegetables. I have these little baby yams. They actually are white. And I'm going to keep it whole like this because it's not for, I'm go, not for me, it's for my husband. I'm going to put in a potato. I did tri-colored carrots. These little bagged tri-color carrots, three radishes, they kind of bake up like a little red baked potato. I had cabbage in the fridge, so I'm going to add a slice of cabbage right there and it's going to take on the flavors so see how easy this is i'm going to put a whole carrot in and i just add my vegetables and i probably could have used a bigger piece of tinfoil couldn't i i salt and peppered these already i put a little olive oil on them and this is almost ready to go into the oven. Now, here it is, a little bit more. Now it's minced onion. Do you see that? I had sliced onions, I had diced onions, and now I have minced onions. And finally, my secret ingredient is so amazing that I want to even thank this company, Pacifica, Pacific? I do believe that this is an American company. I think it's out of Oregon. And they have organic soups. And the ingredients are pretty clean. And here's some from another meal. All right, I can open this. I know I can. Oh, come on. Ah! Okay, we'll take a moment. I'll, I'll pause for a second and I'm going to get this open.